I wanted to real quick talk about dither fish and what they are, how to use them, maybe some of the species that would be good for them. Um, a lot of people have heard of them in the cichlid circles or aggressive uh, fish species who use another one in between two so that they pick on that fish, not each other, which is basically what a dither fish is, is it's a distraction fish. And uh, actually in this scenario, we have a Chinese algae eater in the back. He was albino, but as he matured, he, well, he turned into that color. And fortunately, he was pretty nasty. He was actually chasing around platies, and, you know, he was actually, he was pretty chaotic, you know, disturbing the entire tank and all that. So what we did is, you have a hard time seeing him, but he's right under there. Or, yeah, there he is. But you can just see him. He's a fancy hyphen placostomus. And what I did in picking the dither fish for him, I knew it wouldn't work to pick a free swimming species. It would have to be something. I didn't necessarily want another species of him because then I just got a fight all the time. And they're pretty aggressive with each other, I've found, with these Chinese algae eaters. So what I did is I got a big Pocostomus that's armored. You know, and everybody knows Pocostomus. That little fish there is not going to do anything to that. And he does take swipes at him, and you'll see him, but... What it has done is he leaves his tank mates completely alone now. He takes his frustrations out on this fish, which is just fine with me. That's a big, armored Pocostomus. We're okay with that. So that's kind of in, a, in, you know, goldfish, for example, in certain scenarios. Um, you can use some live bearers. Um, will be good for that. Uh, pretty much... Uh, I th oh, I've seen parrot cichlids used for them. For example, parrot cichlids usually pretty big and kind of, you know, just kind of do their own thing from what I've seen. And we used one in between a Dempsey and an Oscar before, and the parrot cichlid worked great. You know, I mean, that's a big, chunky fish once they get fully mature. You know, you know they're pretty tough. And they, I haven't found that they tend to be aggressive, so... They seem to do pretty well as dither fish, but that is what a dither fish is. And it works real well to keep this 60-gallon uh, aquarium nice and peaceful. And keep everybody happy. And there's our ram. And there is the Amazon puffer.